what's up guys and welcome back to my channel once again so for this week's video I wanted to continue on the do-it-yourself fall and winter apparel train so I decided to go with this gorgeous Alexander Wang inspired turtleneck that I thought would be pretty easy to achieve and obviously way under budget and also just in style and in fashion and I've seen Rihanna and a couple other celebrities wear it but it's $850 so in natural broke style I decided that I would recreate it for a whole lot less so it's so chic and it's just gonna glam up that fall and winter apparel which sometimes can be dull we can't wear as much jewelry we have all these coats and these sweaters and these turtlenecks and Honestly, you can still be fashionable whether it's cold or not. So if you want to see how I made this happen so that you can do it yourself, please keep watching. Okay guys, so pretty much for this look, what you need is a turtleneck, some studs, and of course E6000 glue. What I went ahead and did was just start laying out all of the studs in the exact position that I am envisioning them to be in. For me, this just makes it so much easier when I actually start applying it just because I already kind of have laid out that framework of how I want the look to appear. As you can tell, this uh, turtleneck is not in good condition whatsoever. I bought it from Goodwill and I recommend that you guys thrift for a turtleneck or just use one that you have um, in your own closet as well. It's just going to make it cheaper for you. Um, now moving forward, what I'm doing here again is a similar technique to what I used in my previous video when I recreated the Stuart Weitzman booties. What I do is I kind of put this glue onto a pen, pencil, or a skewer and I grab the stud and I kind of just scoop it from the stick. I find it to be so much easier for whatever reason to do it this way than to just get the product straight out of the tube. As you can see from that previous clip, um, the glue is very sticky, it's very stringy, and it just has a, a difficult consistency to work with when you're, you're taking it straight out of the tube. And I also find that for whatever reason, there's like unlimited pressure on the tube. So if, if you're trying to apply it straight onto um, the stud, all this glue just continues to come out and you can't control it. You're not even squeezing the tube. I just don't understand why it's happening. So for me, it's easier to put it on the stick and then apply it that way. As far as washing goes, I would still recommend washing it by hand, although the glue claims that it is machine washable friendly. But yeah guys, that's it. Um, there's really not much else to it. It's very straightforward, very simple, and very achievable. Now, as you can see, it came out pretty good. Now it's not perfect but it's close enough and it's cheap enough for me and for you. 